In this video, I'm going to show you how to get started with affiliate marketing for beginners. Let's get started. Hello YouTube, my name is Austin and welcome to my channel where I help you find success online. Be sure to like, subscribe, and ring the bell if you're interested in different tips and tricks on how to find success and make money online. All right, so as I just mentioned, this video I'm going to show you how to get started with affiliate marketing. Now, affiliate marketing is basically eight steps. And in this video, I'm going to go over step one so that you can start off on the right foot. That first step is called picking a niche. And that's what we're going to take a deep look into right now. All right, so a niche in general is an area, is a topic, is a is a place where you're going to focus. Right, as I mentioned in a few of my other videos, the most popular niches are health, wealth, relationships, and technology. But any niche can work. If you are interested in doing uh, affiliate marketing with pins, that could work. If you're doing it, if you're interested in doing affiliate marketing with lighting, you can do that. Any niche can work. It just really all depends on what your interests are. If you're interested in helping people find uh, different ways to make money, do that. If you're interested in helping people with video games, do that. But we're going to take a look at how you can find a niche. And there's a number of different ways that you can do it. The easiest way that you can go out and find a niche is to look at something that you just recently purchased. For example, what I like to do is I like to go on Amazon, uh, recent orders or purchases, and just take a look and see some of the things that I've purchased. Another thing that you can do on Amazon is you can take a look at popular items. There's a there's a category, the, the most popular items uh, based on on different categories. Take a look at that and see if anything sparks your, sparks your interest. You don't have to have a passion in anything that you're, you're, that you're being an affiliate for. You just have to be willing to create a lot of content in that area. So if you are not interested in basket weaving, if you don't feel like you can make 20, 30, 50, 100 pieces of content in basket weaving, don't do that. But if you're interested in, in technology, let's say you're interested in video games and you want to create 50 pieces of content, 100 pieces of content in video games, and you feel like it it, it would be a joy to do, uh, do that. Uh, the key with affiliate marketing and creating content is it has to be something that you truly enjoy. If you don't enjoy it, you'll get burnt out, you'll stop, and you'll frankly want to give up. All right, so those are two good ways. Through Amazon, looking at recent purchases, also take a look at popular items. A second way that you can actually find a niche is take a look at your search results, your Google search results. And with your Google search results, you're looking for questions that you've asked. Um, the, a great way to help somebody is to use the knowledge that you've learned, that you've researched to help somebody else. So for example, if most recently I searched how to create um, lighting, how to create better lighting cheaply, I spent a few days doing some research there, and now that I have more knowledge, I can share that knowledge with you. And if you notice, my lighting's actually a little bit different than even last week because I'm applying what I know. Basically, what you could do is you could be an affiliate for different lightings, uh, softbox lightings and, and, and different options like that, um, and just talk about your experience, what you've learned. You can talk about the uh, backdrop that I have, the the, the chroma key. Um, there's so many different opportunities out there. If you're interested in cutting grass or, or you've done research on lawnmowers, you can create content off of that. So those are a few different ways. Take a look at your recent search results and then create content based off of what you've learned because you've created or you've done research on a niche. You probably don't think about it that way. Um, if you if you were interested in like Cato or, or people are, you hear the word Cato and, and, and low carb diet and you just don't know what that is or what that means, you could actually create content off of what you've learned. Now, again, the most competitive are health, wealth, relationships, and technology. So you know you're going to be fighting kind of an uphill battle for some time until you're able to turn that corner. So using popular search engines is another great way. Another way that you can actually find topics is with Google Trends. And we're going to take a look at Google Trends right now. All right, so here we are at Google Trends. Now, basically what Google Trends is, it's a aggregate for Google that tells you what's being searched, what people are looking for over a period of time. The cool thing with Google Trends is you can do uh, seven days, you can do a month, six months, year, five years. It, it's really up to you. And there's a number of different ways that you can find success or, or find a niche, pick a niche within Google Trends. Now, I do have a very in-depth video on how to do that, but I just want to show you a couple things that you can do right off the bat to get an idea of how successful you can be. So basically, I'm just going to type in a topic. We're going to do ping pong. Ping pong. Also table tennis, so we'll click that. And this is going to tell you how popular 
a, a subject or, or a niche will be uh, over this is a year in the United States. We can change that to uh, seven days. Okay, you can see there's a little bit of uh, movement there. But if we go back, let's do uh, five years. We'll see how popular it is over the last five years. And one thing that you'll notice is these spikes. This is when it was at its most popular. This, I believe, coincides with the Olympics. And if we do lifetime, we can step, take a step back. Um, you can see it decli declines in popularity. So it might be something that you probably want to stay away from. But if we do, let's say, basketball, it will show you a comparison. And you can tell that this kind of um, very high over uh, certain periods of time, it looks like it, it spikes in April. If you know anything about um, basketball, you know March Madness occurs in, in March and April. So that's why you see these huge spikes. Uh, but this is a great way to find different topics to create content on. And if you scroll down, there's related queries and you can get more in depth. Um, check out my, my other video that talks about the three different ways that you can make, find success and, and, and create content based off Google Trends for more in depth information. But if you look over here on the left hand side, uh, you can look at trending searches and you can get an idea of what's popular. So LinkedIn, and then you can make a drop down and it'll tell you in some of these, it'll tell you why um, why it's popular or the, or the different search results that, that are coming up. So if we click on Ireland here, um, it is not working. Let's see, we'll click business. And then if we scroll down here, this is what I'm looking for. You can see the related queries and you can actually make queries based off of these related items or you could find a niche based off of these related items. So a great way to find um, different niches is to use Google Trends. So definitely check that out if you're not familiar with Google Trends. If you've never seen this site, just peruse it, um, spend some time looking around, and you will be impressed by the amount of content that Google offers up for free. So the next way is Google Trends. Just like Google Trends, YouTube Trends is another good way to find uh, different topics to, to, to build a niche around. Now, basically what we're doing here is I want you to realize that you are looking for ideas for, for topics. You don't necessarily want to just go out and start creating content right away because you still need to do some other things like keyword research and pick a platform, but know that you, you want to invest a little bit of time to help you find relevant ideas and content so that you pick a niche that you want to uh, continue to work on over six months, a year, six years, whatever it may be. Google, or let's take a quick look at YouTube trends. All right. So I am here on YouTube trends and you can see there are a number of different things that pop up. Uh, catfishing, kayak, catfishing, um, video games, chocolate. See, as you can see, there are a number of different ideas. The NFL, uh, players, Hawaii, so uh, travel, sports. These are all different possible niches, um, fishing, that you could create and, and get into if, if you have uh, a general interest. Again, you don't need to be passionate about your niche. You just have to have a general a general interest about something, uh, about a component. Cruise ships you could do. Um, talk about some of the things of the cruise ship. I've never been on a cruise ship, so uh, someone like me that, that has never been on one and might want to one day get on a cruise ship, um, I would be interested in learning about the ins and outs. Uh, pets is a huge niche, huge topic, but there's just a number of opportunities. And again, you're using this as a, as a, as a idea generator. All right. So after YouTube trends, we have social media and social media is a great way to find out what's relevant. Now, um, you can also look back a little bit and find out what, what's relevant in the past. But if you're looking to create content quickly, uh, YouTube or excuse me, social media can be a great opportunity for you. And one of the ways to do that is just to use hashtags. So if I go to Twitter and to find hashtags, you just basically you can log in through the desktop, click on explore and it will tell you what's trending. And basically what we're looking for is we're looking for um, hashtags. So health is important. Um, wealth again comes up, cars, um, music. Uh, basketball and video games. These are all different ideas that you could take and, and, and create content around and find success. Um, news, current events, um, credit cards, data breaches. These are all different ideas that you could, you could use. You could make good money creating content, podcasts. You could create YouTube videos about podcasting, um, coding, 
um, programming, things of that nature. Um, and you can do this for, uh, you could do this for Twitter. You can do this for Instagram, Facebook. What you could probably do is take a look at different Facebook groups. I have a video on how to affiliate market with Facebook groups if you're interested in that. But again, one thing that you could do is you could go into Facebook and look at all the different groups that are out there. So um, if there's a group, let's say again on Sharpie pens, see how many people are active in that group, see what that group is talking about. And you could possibly create content to answer that question. So that's another great opportunity. Another thing that you could do potentially is look at commercials, see what's going on uh, on TV. Commercials will usually tell you what's current or what's coming down the line. Trailers are a good way to see, you know, new vehicles, new cars. Uh, there's just so many different opportunities. Once you start looking for niche ideas, they'll, they'll smack you right in the face. If you're sitting in a house, you can think tiny houses. Um, you can think about home furnishings, furniture, TVs. Uh, there's just so many opportunities, apartments, you, uh, uh, apartment insurance, things that you need in an apartment that you may not need in a house. Just spend a few minutes thinking about niche ideas. Concentrate. I want to think about a niche idea to make a business around and you will, will for, will, you'll, you, you won't be able to stop thinking about it. it. It's just so exciting because there's just so many different ideas that are out there and you start thinking about it. You're like, wow, you can do window treatments. I'm just looking around my office right now. And that's another great idea. If you're just sitting at home, look around your room. You could do uh, uh, you could create content around doorknobs. Now that sounds boring, but I, but I guarantee you that there is content out there about doorknobs and someone's making money. Some people don't just go out and buy doorknobs. They do a little bit of research. You can do insect. There's just so, so many different opportunities out there. Um, look at the stock market. Look at the stocks that are trending up and down. Don't necessarily look at the stock price, but look at the products and services that they are selling. And then if you want to go a little bit deeper, look at the, the, the components that make up the products and services that they're selling. For example, Apple, what type of components go into the, the iPhone? Um, think about gold, iron, chips, um, chip manufacturers. These are all booming businesses and booming opportunities to make money online. Um, another option is just talk to your family and friends, talk about their interest, ask them what they're interested in, what they like, what they don't like. One of the things that I like to do is when I go to the gym, look around and see what people are wearing. Are people wearing Under Armour? Are people wearing Nike? These are all great opportunities and you may not want to promote Nike directly, but you may want to promote athletic apparel, or you may want to promote and talk about some of the fabric dry fit. I'm wearing a dry fit shirt. Now these are all great opportunities. Niches are everywhere. Everything is a niche. And I want you to, to focus on that. Everything is a niche. It's just really how passionate, how interested you are in about creating content. You don't have to be passionate about it. Uh, you don't even have to like it. You just have to want to be interested enough to create 50 pieces of content, 100 pieces of content, content over a long period of time. If you want to learn everything that I know about affiliate marketing, click the first link in the description. In addition to learning about everything that I know about affiliate marketing, You'll also receive a free guide to email marketing. If you know anything about me, I am a huge proponent of email marketing. Email marketing converts at a higher rate than other types of marketing. You can retarget your customer for multiple different offers, and it takes between five and 12 touch points before a customer becomes a buyer, before a lead becomes a buyer. So definitely check out that first link in the description if you want to learn everything that I know about affiliate marketing. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.